Welcome to Family Faith Creek. My name is Kathy, and today we're going to be talking about a person named Joseph who fed his family. Now you have to hear the backstory, the prequel of the story, before it comes upon when he feeds his family. Now a long time ago, there was a family, and there were like 11 brothers, and Joseph was the youngest. And they all picked on Joseph, and they thought that their dad favored Joseph. So what these brothers did is they took him out and put him in a big well. It's like a big hole in the ground. And they really weren't going to do anything nice to Joseph, when all of a sudden there was a caravan that went by, and they sold Joseph to this caravan of people and animals. And so Joseph was taken far, far, far away from his family. Now, do you sometimes miss your family? Yeah, Joseph missed his family, and Joseph's dad missed Joseph. But as Joseph grew up and grew up and grew up, and he was very trusted over there, that he eventually became in control and the king's helper over the food. Now, Joseph could read some dreams, and the king had a dream that something was going to happen, and he didn't understand, so Joseph explained it. Joseph said there was going to be seven years of lots of food. Seven years. And to store up all these foods into big containers, big buildings, and hold them. So after the seven years of lots of food, there was going to be seven years of hardly any food. That's called a famine. Famines still happen in different countries. It could be caused by no rain or the bugs eating all the crops. Anyway, Joseph was in charge of all of this food and he would dole it out to help different families, different countries to help with the food. Well, his brothers, the country they lived in, which was near Egypt, and that's where Egypt, uh, Joseph was, came to ask for help and for food. And they did not recognize Joseph. And Joseph knew right away that that was his family. And Joseph, he helped and fed his whole family and gave them food and sent it back to their country. He loved his family and he forgave his family. God, he loves us so much too and he loved Joseph's family and he guided Joseph along the way. Well, God guides us too and he loves us and he provides food for us. When you're eating supper tonight, you think of Joseph and how he loved his family and he forgave his family for what they did to him way back when he was little. We can be filled with love and forgiveness too. And something else we can do is reaching out this week is you can go to the grocery store, buy some food and take it to your local food pantry, food shelf to help others who are in need of food. Let's fold our hands to pray. Close your eyes. Dear God, you gave us families to love. But families are made of imperfect people who sometimes do very imperfect things. You call us to be responsible for our actions, to amend when we mess up and forgive. Help us to do the hardest things. Help us in our families to forgive those and also show love to all those around us that we may go out into the world and give love and forgiveness to others. Amen. Today, go to your pantry, collect some food, and give it to a food shelf. Have a great day.